Hey everybody, I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold, and this is 5 Minutes with Ben, and I'm Ben. So, uh, we're going to look today at a game that I played in 2002 uh, in the World Open. Um, this was round 7, and we were on board 2, and this is me against uh, Grandmaster Boris Kreiman. Um, it was a Rui Lopez, Spanish, I had black, and I played my usual... Uh, knight f6, bishop c5. Uh, he played one of the main lines, which is c3 and d4, and bishop g5. And I've had this position a few times. h6, attacking the bishop, bishop h4, d6. And in this position, if I remember correctly, which I do, my opponent played knight bd2 and offered me a draw. And probably, if he had made a good move, <laughs> I might have accepted with black drawing so easily against a higher rated player and um, higher titled player. But knight bd2 is a mistake. So I calculated that I could take on d4, since d4 is hanging now because his queen um, isn't protecting the d4 pawn anymore. So if we just keep capturing on d4, I'm up a pawn. So I figured he had to get rid of one of my defenders, which he did. And now if I take his bishop, he can take on d4. So I took on c3. Now if he takes on c3, I take his bishop, and I'm a pawn ahead. So to save his pawn, I thought he'd go here. That's called a desperado. And we get this position with equal material. So I calculated this when he offered me a draw, and I realized g5 either forces him to sack a piece or it wins his e-pawn. If he plays bishop g3, black's a pawn ahead and black has the two bishops. So he did sacrifice a piece. And I figured he doesn't have enough pieces to attack me so that you know I should be good here. King g7, so my queen can move away from the pin. Queen f3, putting pressure on my knight. And in this position... Um, I probably should play rook b8, defending my bishop, um, because he has a threat which I didn't see. Uh, I played queen e7. Now white is probably okay. Uh, white can play a move I didn't see, and I guess he didn't see either, e5. And the idea is if I take his queen, then we go into this uh, ending where he's a pawn ahead. And after e5... Uh, Queen takes e5, bishop f6, queen f6, queen b7. Um, white is a pawn ahead, but after d5, black is actually better. Because if you take the pawn, rook d8 skewers the queen of the knight. So actually, black has the advantage here, but that's, a, that's another long story. Uh, but e5 was the best move. He played the move queen g3, which doesn't really have a threat. So I played queen e6, unpinning my knight. If he takes with double check, I just take with the king. And he doesn't have any attack. He doesn't have any pieces. So he played knight f3. Now he's threatening something. If I play a silly move, like a5, then he'll double check and then play checkmate. Now that his knight is on f3. So I played knight takes e4. That defends the g5 square. Now I'm a piece up for a pawn. And he doesn't have any pieces left to attack. I'm going to take his bishop and my queen can come. And I have the two bishops. So in this position, he resigned. The game only took about an hour and I won with black. And actually, uh, in this World Open, I tied for first. This is one of my best results ever uh, in 2002. Well, I hope you like, enjoyed that short game. I'm sure it was more than five minutes. So you get a little extra bonus. I'm Grandmaster Ben Feingold. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time with more 5 Minutes with Ben. Bye.